two organs. We have the vagina, the yoni, we have the lingam, the penis. All right, I'm gonna call it dick and pussy, go right ahead. I'm gonna ask sisters to raise their hands who are involved with men. How many of y'all have experienced jackrabbits? What's that? What's that? Energy bunnies. Raise your hands. Raise your hands. If you've experienced the jackrabbit and he could be sitting next to you right now, raise your hand. Alright. Then you got the daddy long strokers. There's a reason they're called daddy long strokers. Because we have matured ourselves. Mm -hmm. And then you got the brothers in the middle. They kind of get in there. But then they get caught up and get tense and start to backfire and turn into a jackrabbit again. <laughs> All right. The whole point of being a long stroker is that you're connecting with that woman's heart. When you're going deep and gently, Cause see, she's not even ready when she's wet. Let the woman put you in. Let her, tell her, you put me in when you're ready for me. All right? And she'll do that when she's ready. And if you find that she's ready to do it in like five seconds, 10 seconds, no. Then you gotta hold her down, slow her down. <laughs> Work with it a little bit more. Work with her a little more. Kiss her, massage her, talk to her because you're programming certain things into her head. All right, the words you use are going to open up certain aspects of her. She may not even be aware of. It's one of the reasons why um, when we look at certain people, certain singers' voices, I'm gonna mention one voice here, The weekend. his voice is like sex, pure sex, all right? But then when we apply his voice, to a lyricist like Maxwell, now you're having multiple orgasmic sex, all right? So you're looking to open her up before you even penetrate her. <laughs> and then in that context, once you've done that, what we're looking at is different aspects of the penis or lingam correspond to different aspects of the vagina or pussy. The tip of the penis, and y'all sisters who do fellatio, y'all know this. You mess around with the tip long enough, he gonna bust up, right? Won't he just go crazy? Crazy. That's the heart. That deep part of her vagina, way in there, when you get in there deep, you're connecting with her heart. And y'all sisters know this too. You go in deep, you are connecting with her heart. That's the <laughs> So from there, if we just start, this is the heart, and then we work our way down. If this is my heart right here, all right? This is the head of my penis. It's a long way down, all right? Each area, you're connecting with a different organ in the body, all right? So at the root, that shaft root, that's the kidneys. All right, there you go. All right, and think about it. We got two kidneys. So two kidneys, one for each side. Two ovaries, one for each side. So we're looking at two balls, both sides. All right, um, and in between, you have a lot to work with. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna bring this into why this is so important. Let's look at something like fibroids, okay? I have a client and um, I had to talk with her. Her husband is 13 years older than I am. And I asked her, the first question I asked her, I said, is he a daddy long stroker or is he a rabbit? And she said, well, he's a jack rabbit. I said to her, if you want to resolve this issue working with me, you're going to have to get him to slow down and touch you with his penis as a healing tool. He has to enter you with the intention to heal you. And if he can do that, these fibroids will resolve themselves a lot quicker than you would believe. Mm. All right. Because you're gonna let go of all of that stuff. And you know, sisters, when y'all are having that long stroke and it goes on long enough, and it's different intensities and all of those things we're talking about, there's a point where you will have an orgasm and it'll turn into tears because your heart just melts. Yes. Yes. Make love a meditation, all right? Go slow, talk to her. 
And the same thing for sisters. Go slow. If you have tension as a sister, and then y'all are getting with the brother, he's gonna feel that. Um, you notice a lot of brothers talk about like an have a very tight vagina. It's bullshit. All right, they're still caught up in the lower level there. You really want that vagina to be loose and wet because if it's tight, you ain't gonna be able to do anything. You're gonna end up ejaculating very quickly. All right, and I really keep it real. Like, you can go for 12, even 24 hours longer with no ejaculation and her vagina will stay wet. All that friction will dry her out like a, a, a bone. Pow, pow. <laughs> She'll dry out. So you, it's, it's a lot of mindfulness involved in this. Um, I don't know what other questions you might want to That was amazing.